Today I'm going to be showing you how to mount your diamond painting canvas onto a piece of foam board. Uh, what I will be uh, mounting on the foam board is my five panel piece. So the reason I chose the foam board is because because of the five panels, if I were to put them in frames, I believe that the um, actual frame itself would take away from the whole piece. So I prefer to use the foam board, uh, that way there is no edge on it, no border, and um, it'll kind of uh, smoothly transition from panel to panel, and I believe it'll look a lot nicer. Now, this is the piece I'm going to be mounting on the foam board today. Uh, this is my very first five panel piece, and this is a gift for my grandmother. Her birthday is coming up on November 11th, so I think this could not be more perfect of a gift uh, because her birthday is on Remembrance Day. And um, so I'm really super excited to get this done, to be able to give this to her because, again, I could not think of a more perfect gift. So what I have done is I have purchased the foam board from the dollar store. I paid $1.25 per uh, piece, and it's a fairly large piece, see right there, okay, now that there is 30 inches long by 20 inches wide, and that translates to 76.2 inches long, or sorry, 76.2 centimeters long by 50.8 centimeters wide, so it's a really uh, decent size and uh, there's a lot of room to work with. So what I have done is I've pre-cut my pieces here. Um, I've got five pieces here. Uh, one of them is kind of down on the table right now. Now they're a little jagged on the edges uh, because silly me, I used the wrong blade on my X-Acto knife so I'm going to have to refinish the edges with this cutting blade. Uh, it's a lot sharper so it'll definitely leave a cleaner edge. Now what I will be doing or what I have done, excuse me, is I've left a little bit of extra around the edges and uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be removing this edge right here so it'll just be the uh, washi tape border. So this is what it's going to look like right there. So once I mount that onto the foam board, I will be taking my straight blade and I will be making the cut right at the border right here. So it'll be just, just this that you will see right here. <laughs> so that's it's, it's going to look awesome. I'm so excited to get to this. Um, what I have used for, or what I will use for the adhesive is I have purchased this contact cement, also from the dollar store. <coughs> Uh, this was, I believe, $2. So it's a really good price. There's uh, 30 milliliters in here. Now, I'm not really too sure how much I'm going to need of this. So I'm really hoping that I have enough. Now, if I don't have enough, at least it was only $2. So I can just run to the dollar store and get another one. What I have also done is I have done a test strip. So I've taken the uh, border off of the canvas and I have used the contact cement to uh, place it onto the foam board and I'm really really happy with the results because it has not moved off of here it's it's not peeling off it's not falling off um, this part right here doesn't have any adhesive on it so that's why it's coming off but um, yeah again I'm really happy with the results so it's it's gonna work well now what I will be using is I have two paintbrushes here um, I, I wish I had a larger brush, but I don't. I probably should have grabbed one when I was at the dollar store, but I can work with what I've got here. So if I'm not quite happy with how fast the adhesive is uh, going down on to the canvas with the paintbrush, I have got a piece of cardboard here that I'm going to cut down and I'm just going to use that kind of to apply the um, contact cement onto the canvas. What I would recommend, uh, see this here has got a bit of a glossy finish to it. I would recommend using something like this. Now reason being, because if you have something like this piece of cardboard, 
when the adhesive starts to soak into this, it could very likely uh, turn it um, like mushy or it'll it'll soak through and it'll make it really bendy and it, it, you don't want that when you're trying to apply it because then, you know, just just makes for a harder time. So um, I've got my brushes, I've got my contact cement and then I've also got my trusty roller here. So once I get the contact cement down onto the foam board, I'm just going to roll this over and make sure it's got a really solid connection to the board. Um, and yeah, I believe that is it right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reposition the camera and then we will get to applying the adhesive. I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I have already done um, three of my panels. I have left two panels aside so we could actually show you how it's done. So I have actually learned something today. And if you are going to be using a paintbrush to uh, spread the adhesive out onto your canvas, you are going to want to use a brush that you don't mind throwing away. Now reason being is uh, one, I accidentally put this down onto my piece of cardboard and as you can see the cardboard stuck to it. But this is what I mean by use one that you don't mind throwing away because if you can see the contact cement is really in there and honestly there's no washing that out so you're just going to want to throw it out and it, it being a dollar store um, uh, paintbrush really it's you can do it. So what we've got here is we have got our panel uh, that has been, uh, the edging has been taken off and uh, we have our contact cement, our application brush and our foam board. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over and you are going to want, if you're using contact cement, you're going to want to do this in a very well uh, ventilated area. Uh, reason being is because this stuff is very, very uh, stinky and it's, uh, it, they recommend to do it in a well ventilated area and I absolutely recommend to do the same. So we will remove the cap. Uh, we've got both our windows open down here uh, in the basement and it is pretty chilly out. So we're going to do this as quickly as possible. So what I am doing is I am going to be putting a edge of contact cement all the way around and you just, you don't want to glob it on, um, but you want to give a fair amount, right? So there we go. that and then down there uh, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to brush that out towards the edges just like this Don't put it all the way to the very edge because just in case you have too much on there then it will uh, kind of glob out on the outside of the canvas and then it'll kind of make a bit of a mess, right? So just kind of push that out like that. Now you're going to want to work quickly if you're using the contact cement because um, after, I'm not really sure how long it takes for it to set. But um, the directions recommend to work as quickly as well. Um, so you don't want to put all this stuff on here and then all of a sudden find out that it's not going to stick because it's already set. So push that out a little bit. And also what I'm going to do, once I've got the outer edging done, I'm going to just put a little bit in the middle just to make sure that we have a really solid connection to for the uh, foam board. Whoops, that was too big of a glob. Just like that. And then, once again, we're just going to uh, spread it out. You don't have to really worry about it being even. 
because I mean it, it kind of just soaks into the canvas a little bit so it kind of works itself out. Now I played around with a couple different ways of uh, putting the canvas down onto the foam board and I found this to be the easiest way. You just pick up your foam board and line it up and then just press it down just like so. And then lift her up and there you go. So once I have done that, I am going to take my roller and then you're just going to want to press it down like this. Make sure you spread the um, contact cement or whichever adhesive you plan to use. Just make sure it's nice and spread out nice and flat. Now, if you're using foam board and a roller, you're not gonna uh, you're gonna want to make sure that you don't press too hard because then you're gonna end up pressing right into the foam board and it's gonna leave uh, marks in it or a little indent. Sorry. Okay, and then we're just gonna go around the edges to make sure that they're pressed down firmly. And again, you don't need to use a whole lot of pressure around the edges because uh, if you've got enough uh, adhesive along the edges, then it should stick fairly easily. Just like that. Now, depending on um, how you're going to use your foam board, like, um, I'm planning on leaving a tiny little edge of black around the uh, panel itself. So, probably just maybe about that much around the edges. So, when you're putting your foam board down on top of the back side of the uh, panel, uh, you just want to make sure that you've got it lined up well. Uh, or else uh, it, you're going to end up with uh, uh, less than what you planned, right? Just give it a little extra roll, and it's as simple as that. See, it's holding nice and well, and uh, I mean, there's no, you, you can't really tell there's no bubbles or nothing like that, and that's it. So you just set it aside to dry, and then uh, if you're doing another five panel piece, then you move on to the next panel, and I mean, that's it. It's really, really simple. I'm actually really happy with how easy it is, and it's a very quick and simple process. So we'll just go ahead and finish with the last panel. Uh, which side is that? Let me push that down there. And I was actually really surprised because I didn't think I was going to have enough contact cement. And it turns out that I did. So I don't have to run back to the dollar store. Sweet. So I managed to get this all, um, I guess, I guess you can call it framed. We, we did it for less than six dollars. So I mean, that's a pretty, pretty good amount compared to uh, how much it costs to get things professionally framed. So I'm really, definitely really happy about that. This is my first time ever working with contact cement, and uh, it's it's definitely an interesting adhesive. It's uh, kind of rubbery almost. I think I'm going to have to put some more around the edges here. Just a wee bit. some on the middle. I find with this pattern it gives it a little bit of 
have a better coverage area to work with. Kind of covers your bases when you want it to uh, stick down to your foam board. but that's okay because I'm going to have a very minimal um, uh, outer part to it. I am very, very happy with how this turned out and I cannot wait to gift this to my grandmother. She is going to be so excited and I am actually going to be recording her opening it so I will be posting that video to share with everybody. And I cannot wait. Her birthday is coming up um, this weekend, I believe, is her party. So I have been waiting a few months, and I've been on waiting on pins and needles. So this day has been a long day coming, or a long time coming. onto a piece of foam board. Like I said, very easy, a uh, nice, quick, simple process. Uh, you can do it for fairly cheap. Uh, like I said, I used contact cement. Um, you can use whatever adhesive that you find works the best for you. Um, if you're going to try um, a type of adhesive that you've never used before, I recommend um, just trying out a little test strip with the edges of the canvas and that way it'll give you a good idea of what um, of how well the adhesive will work okay so thank you for watching we'll see you later if you have any questions just pop a comment down below or you can email me at diamondpaintingnut at gmail.com Or you can drop me a line in our fabulous Facebook group, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. I will drop a link in the description below. Or you can drop me a line on my Facebook group, Diamond Painting Divas. I will put the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.